Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's good. Yo guys, what is up? Mox here in our Borderlands 3 video and today we are talking about the legendary shotgun, the Tiggs Boom. Now the Tiggs Boom was introduced into the game with the Mallow on takedown and on release kind of sucked. Uh, this weapon was bugged. It has the legendary effect that when you shoot it, it spawns meteors and the meteors didn't really spawn. The gun didn't really do any damage, but it was recently buffed. When I tried it out after the buff, I still didn't like it. And I didn't like it up until about today when I figured out some cool tricks and how this gun best operates that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today to make it into an absolute monster. Before we get into the video, guys, if you're enjoying the content, if you learned anything new, uh, feel free to hit that like, uh, drop a comment, and if you're feeling really generous and want to make my day, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate that, guys. And with that, let's get into the video. So the Tiggs Boom is a legendary torque shotgun that drops from the Mallow on takedown. Now, I was using this weapon on Amara, and I think that's part of the reason why I didn't like this weapon. To be honest, Amara makes a lot of weapons look really good, but I genuinely don't like this weapon on Amara. The, the weapon that I've, or the characters that I've found use this weapon the best are Flak and Moe's. Moe's with all of her splash damage capabilities and Flak can make the Meteors of the Tiggs Boom crit to do crazy, crazy damage. Now, the biggest thing, there's two big things that I found about this weapon. One is I was using a Time 6 variant. Um, this one dropped for me on that takedown completion there. This is a Time 6 variant. Now, the Time 6 variant is a world's difference uh, worse than the Times 18, and that is because... For each pellet that hits an enemy, there is a chance that it spawns a meteor. So having a times 18 weapon that shoots a ton of projectiles means that you're going to be spawning a ton of meteors with every shot. So while it is very hard to get, uh, and I'm not saying this is an easy acquire, easy to acquire weapon. It's honestly very difficult. But if you can get a God World one, you can do pretty awesome things, which I didn't think you could. But if you can get a times 18 variant, you're gonna be spawning a ton of meteors. The other thing that I learned that's really crazy with this weapon is it is impacted uh, by the same mechanics that the recursion is under, that the call weapons are under, that the carrier is, that the hyperfocus is, and that is the more different elemental instances that you can do with this weapon the more meteors that will spawn. So if you are using different elemental ASCs, um, you'll spawn more meteors. If you've got different elements on your weapon, you'll spawn more meteors. And so uh, with a times 18 and a few different elements, you can spot a crap ton of meteors, which is really cool looking as uh, someone who like mained like a meteor wizard in Diablo 3. Uh, this weapon appeals to me. It has a very low magazine, and we'll be talking about that in a second. But this weapon, when used properly with enough elemental uh, anointments and a times 18 variant, can become a very, very, very strong weapon, which I genuinely didn't think it could because I hated this weapon. Now, I've been using this on my new 
Minesweeper Moe's build, which is going very, very well. Um, and probably going to be showcasing this weapon as one of the main weapons because it works amazingly well with Minesweeper. Now, this is a weapon you're not going to want to hit fire. Uh, its hit fire spread is atrocious, but when you're aiming down sights, you can hit uh, a bunch of crits on an enemy, and that allows you to proc multiple Minesweepers uh, to do a ton of damage, and it's already scaling off of uh, splash damage. 125 splash and 160 iron bear is what you're going to be looking for on this thing. Now with Flak, you can make the Meteor's Crit, which can do a crazy amount of damage. Now one of the things that this weapon is benefiting from uh, the most on this Moe's build, don't look at the build because uh, it's still in progress, but Click Click was recently boosted to 60% gun damage. Now this weapon already has a small magazine size of a base 5, it's up to 60% gun damage with this when you're shooting because of its low mag. Um, with Moe's, you could kind of get it down to a low mag pretty quickly and kind of sustain that, which is going to give you plus 60% gun damage on all of your shots, um, which allow this thing to be very strong. Now, in terms of like things to be using with this, you're gonna be looking for uh, splash damage rolls as I found the best thing because the meteors seem to scale the most off of splash damage or scale the best with splash damage. I genuinely didn't like this weapon on Amara, but uh, Flak and Moe seem to make great use out of it. This weapon can spawn in any element, but uh, it cannot be non-elemental. Lastly, um, the, my biggest issue with this weapon, and uh, if you use it, you might have this issue too, is it's really cool uh, in its area of effect damage, but it's really deadly too. Um, a lot of the times when using this, if I'm not spacing properly, especially in the takedown, I uh, kill myself with it a lot, which I honestly think is just a big issue with Moe's currently. Uh, Toward Cross Promotion could be a cool skill, and a whole point of Moe's blue tree is to get all this splash damage and do all this crazy area of effect damage, but she has no damage reduction from splash, and a lot of the times when using this weapon, uh, if you're not using it properly, if you're uh, if you're shooting it close to you, you were just going to kill yourself, which could be really frustrating. So this weapon, in the right scenario, with the right anointment and gear, can be an absolute monster. Um, but you do have to be careful with it, and I think it highlights some of the issues that Moses is experiencing right now, because I kill myself with Moses more than any other character in this game. Um, but yeah, with the proper tools, uh, it's not an easy to acquire weapon, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I didn't think this weapon was or had the potential to be as good as it can be. And if you can get the right anointments, it shreds. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're looking for this weapon and having a trouble time or having a hard time finding it, try to join that Discord or hit that Discord link and see if you can get yourself one. Uh, we got 28,000 people in there, all in the trading sections. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, this Minesweeper Moe's uh, will be ready to show for you guys tomorrow. So really excited about that, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Didn't you make a melee build? Yeah, I made a really good melee build. It's called Melee Witch. <laughs> I'll tap four to unmute. All right, I did fall for that one time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. That was sick. That was sick. That wasn't even with like click click bonuses to like 60% damage or anything. That was just a straight shred. <laughs>